In 2020, the gaming world changed forever. It made every game that was worth $10 at a yard sale, $100 for some reason. And today, Elijah and I are gonna show you guys some of the most expensive games in our game room collection. And to specify this a little more, these are not necessarily our most expensive games. I mean, like in general, yes, but it, we have five games picked out for you. And they're not necessarily the five most expensive games because our intention is if you guys enjoy this video and this kind of content, we would like to make more parts and show you more of our collection. But uh, we've picked out a couple interesting ones for you today and we'll tell you some stories. What I do want to preface, there are a couple sealed games that I'm going to show you today. Yeah. And we are not by any means sealed collectors. I, I want to put that out there because some people have a bad like taste for sealed collectors okay. and like in getting those games graded a lot of people do that and oh, it raises yeah. values we are not sealed collectors these are just games that we came across sealed and they are parts of our favorite series so we just kind of kept them sealed for our own personal interest but what i do want to start out with is one of our favorites which is actually a sealed game malcolm what are you doing yeah, really what is, I, like i know this is gonna be like edited like cropped a little bit but what is our dog doing Say, he's just that's Malcolm. Chilling. He doesn't even come upstairs. So everyone he's, say hi to Malcolm. He's never in these videos. He's 13 years old. Everyone say happy birthday, Malcolm. Actually, today's Elijah's actual birthday. So happy birthday, Elijah. She's yeah, can I say your age? Yeah. She's 26 years old. She's ancient. Oh, no. I'm All on right, the sorry. other half of 20. I was crying the other day. I was like, I'm on the other half of 20 now. Are we like? Okay. We're but, we're showing you our Pokemon video <laughs> games. That's what we're doing. But this is a sealed Pokemon Red Rescue Team. We have it in a protector too, because you want to protect the things you love. Yeah. Uh, this has like the H seal on it, so it is official. We actually came across this. There is a game store that we go to a lot called The Exchange. It's in the eastern half of the United States. It's throughout a lot of Ohio, which is where we're from. Uh, if you go to Pittsburgh, there's like There's seven a lot in Pittsburgh, there, Pittsburgh, a lot in Cleveland. Uh, the one we do go to is in Canton, Ohio. Uh, we drive a ways to it, so don't think you got us. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this is one of those games that we found. I don't know if it's in that one or like one of the others, but they had it for $25. And this was pre-COVID, right? The, yeah, this was this absolutely pre-COVID. Pre so I don't know. I think they may have changed like how they do things a little bit, but originally their complete games and their boxed games, um, they would almost value them the same price yeah. as their loose. Now they don't really take in disc games and like disc games that don't have their cases that aren't complete sometimes they do if they're super valuable they did always with cartridge and they would value those like complete ones the same as the non-complete oh. this was one of those that they just valued it at the same as a red rescue team and they priced it at 25 dollars for whatever reason and we're like well that's cool hopefully it's worth 25 dollars because we didn't really know at the time Kind of um, a drum roll for the what this thing's actually worth ish. Um, long drum roll. I just gotta look it up because we're not I'm actually sure. Up. I'm not seeing a lot of excitement. It has went down pretty much. Uh, it's around $300 now. $300 game, but still $300 yeah. for a Game Boy game that you could have got at like Kmart back in the day. Yeah, I, I see this going back up since it was Pokemon. It did hit around like $800 at yeah, one point I sealed. That. Uh, 800, 900. Like I said, no intention to sell this. This is, we just love Pokemon. It was really cool. Next one, we've actually had this one in like, I think not one, but maybe two other previous videos. So go check our backlog. Fire Emblem Path of Radiance on the GameCube. No, this and is- And it's crispy. Crispy and complete. We have the little subscribe to Nintendo Power and the actual manual is in there. And this is like literally in beautiful condition. Uh, we've told this story a couple times, so I am going to keep it a little short. I think we have like a whole video yes, on it. Yes, there's a whole video on it. Um, basically, my mom found this at an auction. Uh, she went to an auction and there was a GameCube there. And she texted me and she's like, hey, there's a GameCube with a bunch of Zelda games. Do you want it? I will try to get it for like at the auction for decently cheap. She's like, how much do you want me to bid for it? And I was like, I don't know, go around like a hundred or so. Well, she ends up texting me. She's like, there's none of the games are in the case for all these Zelda games. There's like three or four. She's like, but there was one game that was in the case. And she's like, it's like Fire Emblem or something. And I was like, mother, buy that now. So somebody else was bidding it up because they thought all the Zelda games were in it. And when they found out they quit bidding. So mom got the GameCube and uh, Path of Radiance. For, and a bunch of Zelda cases. Too. And a bunch of Zelda cases for 60 bucks. <laughs> so this was one of our crazy pickups like early on. 
which is still fantastic to this day. And I have played it. How much does this one go for? Off the top of my head, I want to say like 250, 300. It fluctuates a yeah. lot. I remember at one point it was about 400. I think like in one of our previous videos, we said that, but yeah. the, the market's crazy, y'all. You got to capitalize early. It really is. Now I do want to show you, I want to go ahead and get into this one for a second. This is the one that we do intend to sell. If and why I said maybe is if we don't like it. We usually play our games and if we don't like them, we sell them. Yeah. We used to just kind of collect everything. We've gotten away from that so we can have like a more- We like, want to have a collection that's just stuff that we're going to go downstairs and say, hey, I'm going to play this game today, whatever game I have. It makes it easier to pick a game too instead of looking through a variety of like Barbie games or something. But uh, we actually have, now this is kind of gross. I do need to like clean it at some point. But this is uh, Pocky and Rocky 2, which has recently went up a lot. We got this at um, our local Cashland, and it was in a lot of SNES games. There's a we, bunch of them. Like, yeah. we, got, we probably got like 20 or 30 SNES games. It was yeah, ridiculous. Yeah, and a SNES. And we got it all for like 60 bucks or something. And this was a few years ago again. And this game has went up so significantly. I'm literally going to check this. I know the other day I checked it and it was like $500 loose. Um, there was a couple copies recently that sold for $400. Uh, just a cartridge of this game. And I know some people were like, I was trying to look into it, why it went up and there's really no rhyme or reason of why. But it's a Japanese game, so we would like to play it first, but we're having issues with our SNES. <laughs> Check back in later. Yeah. So we actually have a couple SNES games we're gonna sell too, but I wanna test them before I sell them. Yeah, this is like a little Japanese game that we wanna play. We can't play it because we think it's our SNES power cord. Can't fix that, we're getting a Retron. Here we go. <laughs> and I will say like, let this be the announcement to everybody here who has a SNES collection in their attic or basement or whatever. It might be worth looking into because we didn't even know we had this. A lot of you goes through the game room and randomly found it one day and was like, well, we're setting this to the side. This is one. We go on eBay if we don't like it. Yeah, I, I mean, like I knew I had it back in the day, but it was never something like I, <coughs> you know, kept up on. But uh, if anyone knows anything about SNES power cables, let us know. Like we always have problems with our SNES specifically, and it's brand new. Like it literally is beautiful, and we've had problems with multiple SNESs, and I think it's the power cable. We're gonna try to get a new power cable, but if anyone has any ideas, let us know, because it just doesn't turn on. Got yeah, two turn. more games to show you in this video. Two more games. These are actually some pretty heavy hitters for y'all. And uh, this goes along with our sealed collection thing. <laughs> Not one, but two copies of Persona 3 Portable on the PSP. Yes, Persona is a series that we do love dearly, so that's why we have a sealed copy of this. Actually, not really why we have a sealed copy of this. We went to the exchange again, and we saw that they had this. This one is sealed here. And now, mind you, we do not typically pay a lot for video games out of pocket ever, unless yeah. it's like a it's brand new game. Almost always trade credit. For almost us. always trade credit. We take little things like this, like kind of chon maybe. Chonky Chew. We take like our extras of stuff like this to the exchange and get trade credit. And sometimes we get a lot of trade credit. And this game was 180, I think, sealed. Uh, when we bought it. This might have been like around the beginning of COVID actually. But, yeah, when things uh, the were market hadn't gone too crazy yet. Um, which may or may not have went up at this point. I'm not really sure. That's how much we've paid for the sealed copy. And then we went back, I would say a year or so later and found this along with uh, Persona 2 <laughs> actually. And I think this was like 200 un unsealed. Yeah. It's so so we, we paid more for the uh, open copy than the sealed one, just cause we didn't want to open that one. Again, trade credit, nothing out of pocket from us. We actually wanted a copy that we could play. And since we do love this series dearly. Love it. We wanted to keep that one sealed. All right, All right last, we're going out with the baby. <laughs> Couple more funny ones for you, which I think will be really cool. Now this is a game that people like to fight over right now in the community that they believe should not be worth the money that it is because it was a very widely sold video game. And that is Pokemon Coliseum. Now this copy right here is my original from a kid. So, I mean, it, it's decent condition, but it- Elijah, I mean, like getting anything from Elijah is like getting it pretty much new because she takes good care of stuff. I break everything I touch, I'm like Midas. <laughs> So I mean, yeah, it's pretty decent, it's complete. So this is my original Coliseum copy. At some point in our collecting, very early on, Nathan and I went to a local vintage store that had like a little game section and they had this. And I've honestly just left the price tag on it so you can see. We paid $15 for it. Literally $15, that's gonna probably be backwards. And it is complete. 
But the reason we have this and have two of them, because this one here and why we bought it, it says not for resale at the bottom, which we've never fully figured out why. I don't know if it's like somehow, I don't think it'd be Detectives, your, get in the chat and in comment section, let us know what's going on. Yeah, here. typically the not for resale came with like a system or something. I know there was a Pokemon XD GameCube, but this is Coliseum, so I don't know why it's not for resale. If anyone actually knows that, that'd be awesome. I think I found out at maybe one point. But along with that, I do want to show you one of our more recent pickups. This is um, the Pokemon Coliseum bonus disc. It comes with like a little preview to the Jirachi Wishmaker movie. You know what? Maybe these went together. Oh my gosh. Maybe maybe you bought these Did together. Did we just like fig figure this out like because, live? Because in, this is oh. actually not for resale either. So maybe this was like a pre-order thing <coughs> and they went together. I don't know. Maybe? I don't know. You guys let us know in the comments. But yeah, this, what this does is you get a Jirachi to transfer to your Pokemon Sapphire Ruby. This was 180, which again. Trade credit. Trade credit. It's literally on here. We had $493 in trade credit. So we didn't pay for it. Um, It was 180 and we used a discount. So this is my birthday discount. Yeah, this so we would've gotten in August this year. Yeah, so this place that we go to, your birthday month, they give you 10% off on one purchase. Or 20% so, for you stuff. Oh yeah, so yeah. this would have been 20. And it was 180 original, and we got $36 off of it. So, what is that, quick math? <laughs> like 140 something yeah, dollars. Yeah, 144, $144, which we had never seen this, but like the one time, right, previously. So that's why we're like, we have to get it, or we're gonna regret this. Because this is like something I grew up that I always wanted growing up and like I never got it because it was like a pre-order bonus or something stupid. We went back there and it was sitting there and it was $260. Like, and I was like, this was literally in August, 180. It went up a lot. Like it went up a lot in a few months. Uh, what we're gonna do and hopefully in a separate video, um, we would like to get the Jirachi put it into like, you know, Pokemon Sapphire or whatever and transfer it all the way up to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Now, Pokemon Home is not updated for that yet, so it's probably gonna be a little while before you see that video, but keep an eye out. We It'll probably be, probably be a little vlog slash, you know, really just kind of laid back fun video, but it's something I've always wanted to do. Yeah, guys, definitely let us know if you would like to see that because you don't really see people do that too often. Thought that'd be kind of interesting for everybody and that is actually, all of our fancy games. If you guys would like to see another video like this, we have plenty more games that we could make our most expensive games in our collection video. Um, let us know, leave a comment below, leave a like. If this video does well, we obviously know you guys want to see more of it. Keep an eye out for our Pokemon Jirachi video at some point in time, hopefully within the next like four or five months. It just depends on what Pokemon Home update. So Pokemon Company, get on it. You guys, subscribe to our channel, it is free and it helps us out a lot. We think it's really cool when you subscribe. If you wanna see our Pokemon card collection, let us know. We got fancy things. We'll see um, you guys soon. <laughs> it's you been... see, let us know what you wanna see. We are here to talk make content. Talk to us, y'all. This has been like our biggest YouTube year in a while and we wanna to talk to you guys. Please, talk to us. Yes. See you in the next video. Peace. Peace.